Alright, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this one's gonna be about the little uh, glue pin. I wanna show y'all how to turn this into a marker. Um, some things to worry about with this is uh, you wanna be careful when looking because a lot of these glue pins, they'll have uh, holes in the top. And if you don't cover these well, uh, it'll dry out your marker, similar to the way this one dried out. Which now it's uh, rock hard nib. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. So you want to be careful about that and not do something stupid like me. Um, this one, it's got a reverse screw off lid. I have no clue why, but it's really not that hard to figure out. Take all that off. Don't do that. And uh, pretty much you just want to squeeze out all that glue. And this one's extremely uh, easy to squeeze, so that glue comes out a lot easier. But you got to be careful because the easier to squeeze, normally the easier to break the bottle. So, you gotta be careful with that. You can wash it out, but it really doesn't matter too much. If you squeeze it out good, you shouldn't have to worry. I mean, it doesn't matter if you get a little bit in there. Uh, so there you go. It looks pretty empty for the most part. I won't worry about the rest of it. It should just I'm squeezing out with the paint or whatever I put in it. Um, and then after that, you want to cut open some uh, sock or tissue, not tissue, uh, wash rag or some shit like that. Now, because this has got a very small top, which you can probably cut off if you truly want to, you got to be careful because you're going to have to make this tube sock or whatever you're using a lot smaller than what you're normally used to doing. So, see this, this is too much. You're going to have to use a very little amount. Get the fuck off me. Thank you. And you just want to kind of roll it up, just like you normally do. And say it's still too much, which is ridiculous. That's a very small amount. So there we go, we got a little bitty square. Very tiny. And we're gonna roll this up. Kinda like a never mind. And then you're gonna fold it, kinda get that calligraphy style. And you just wanna make sure it fits right now. See that's not gonna fit. See I might actually have to cut this off. Take your knife and just kind of bore it out like this. There we go. Take the same amount. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have gloves on. And then, because this is a smaller hole to get it into, you might have to use your knife or whatever you're using just to simply take it and push it in with the knife on all the corners and edges and that should tuck it in pretty well just like that all the way around and you want to be careful because if you get this too tightly packed in there the the paint won't flow through it and it won't work very well There you go, you got your little nib. That's a pretty small one. That makes some pretty defined lines. For something like this, I recommend you use ink because 
paint won't work very well. Wow, my knife just broke. And to get this off, do all that. And I think I've got some uh, wank down here. Yeah. Ta da. And before testing out, before you fill up a marker completely and just get it all over the place like I did, you don't want to really fill it up all the way and get it all over the place like I just did. You just want to put a little bit in there just to make sure your nib and everything works. That way you don't fill up a marker completely and then have a good chance you just wasted a lot of ink in case you spill it everywhere. Kind of like what I did. Okay, I can't. I don't even know if there's anything in there. So probably a better way to do it with this oink is to flip it like that and just dump it a little bit in there. And then, because you got to keep it upright, just hold it up. Roll this tube sock back. Make sure it's nice and tight. Tuck it in there. Do the same thing. in there pretty good. I can't even tell if I put any ink in it. I hope I did. There we go. And look at that. First dot and good drip. Just like Link should. Now it is coming out bad right now because I didn't fill it up all the way. But when you fill it up all the way it works just fine. And that says F U. Whoops. And there you go. That's how you make your own little mops. And just tube sock, glue pin, whatever the fuck you want to use. And uh, for the holes on the top, uh, you really can't do much about that. Uh, I guess the one thing you can do is take some electrical tape and put it over the top and try to airtight seal it. But just kind of be careful when you're buying. I don't even know where my electrical tape is. But uh, there you go.